Hey everyone, Upwards here, and today I'm going to be taking you guys through a beginner's guide on the Akai MPK249. Firstly, a lot of you guys on my last video asked me how to connect the MPK249 to your M1 Pro MacBook Pro. This is currently an issue on Akai's end, and we are still waiting for them to update the software and firmware to support the new MacBooks. Luckily, there is a workaround that I've been using that has been working perfectly fine for me, and it's super simple. In order to use this workaround, you will need a USB hub or dock. They're not that expensive and you'll most likely need one if you want to connect more than one USB-A port to your MacBook. If you have a USB hub, simply plug in the Akai to the hub and plug the hub into your MacBook. And it connects just like that. The same works with a USB dock. Next, setting up the Akai MPK249 with your door. Personally, I use Logic Pro X as my main door of choice, and I will be explaining how to set up the Akai MPK249 with it. It's a little different than other doors such as Ableton Live or FR Studio, but they all share the same idea. What you want to do as soon as you plug in your Akai MPK to your laptop is to go into the control services settings. Click on Logic Pro in the menu, and in the drop down menu, hover on control services. Another drop down will appear where you can click setup. From here, click on new and you can choose to install your keyboard manually or you can let Logic Pro scan and install anything it detects. However, if you are using the new M1 laptops, Logic will actually give you a pop up that says that you have to install it manually. So just install it manually. Now your door will be ready to MIDI map your Akai MPK249. To MIDI map the Akai MPK249 in Logic Pro, click on Logic Pro and then click Control Services. Here you can tell your door the function you want the knob or slider to control. For example, I can select the high pass filter and assign it to this knob. Now I can click Learn to save it and it works perfectly. This works with all the knobs, sliders and buttons. The next thing to set up are the transport controls on your keyboard. Out of the box, the transport controls do not work with Logic Pro. To set this up, click on Logic Pro again, go to Preferences and click on MIDI. The Preferences pane will open up and you can click on Sync. At the bottom, you can click on MIDI Sync Project Settings. Now change the destination to Port A, click MMC and click on Listen to MMC Input. This will now allow you to use the transport control features on the Akai MPK249. Unfortunately, this is a project setting so this only applies to the project that you are working on. If you want to have all the transport controls working on every project without you changing a setting, I recommend you make a template. To make a template, click on File and in the drop down there is a Save as Template button. Click that and name it whatever you want. Now, whenever you make a new project, you can start from this template with all of your transport controls ready to go. Alternatively, you can map each button to play, record and pause but this is probably the easiest way to go. So that wraps up this tutorial. Hopefully this helps you all and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Also, click here to watch my review on the Kai MPK249 if you haven't already watched it.